Hello, my name is Art Merck. Greetings from the riverbank. We have September in the calendar, so it means it's time for salmon. Despite the salmon arrives uh, a little bit earlier, but usually we have very hot summer with very warm water conditions, so uh, water temperatures. So basically it's impossible to fish for salmon in summertime. And uh, actually this uh, summer was not the exclusion as we had very, very hot August uh, with temperatures in the air up to 30 degrees of Celsius. And uh, the water was warmed up until 20, 21 degrees of Celsius. But with the September, the weather has changed dramatically. We uh, basically, the water temperature has dropped from 21 to 15 degrees uh, just in one week so now we have like really really good uh, water and uh, air co and weather conditions so let's try to find some salmon and present the fly to them tight lines Perfect. Not too big, but don't know yet. Could be salmon, could be a sea trout. Oh yeah. Let's see. What we have here. Yeah, I think it's a sea trout. Yeah, fresh one. Perfect. Yeah. So this morning it has started with a nice sea trout. Oh, I just caught. What a beautiful fish. Fresh sea trout, which came to this small river for like 200, 300 kilometers from the sea. Beautiful shape, female. Let her to get back its strength and we will release it. Beautiful fish. Let's put it back in the water. Yeah, very nice fish. And let's release this beauty. Beautiful fish, okay, ready to swim. 
Oh yeah, nice. Whew. Brilliant. Filming alone, it's not easy, but the fish swim out healthy and strong. So this net really helps me to keep the fish safe and healthy and strong. Okay, let's continue. It's just the early morning, so hopefully it will be a promising day. Okay, so it's the middle of the day, it's very nice autumn, but I think that it's a bit too warm and the sun is a bit too high to continue on salmon fishing, so I think it's the right time to take a break and I would like to show you my personal fly wallets, the leather fly wallets that I make for different kind of flies, hook flies, tube flies, and I have few of my own, so I just like to show you some different kind of them, what I have in my assortment. So first of them is the tube fly case with clear pockets. Uh, I have this one with 10 compartments. Uh, the ones I sell are with five, but you can order extra five if you need more. Just keep in mind that it's kind of quite thick. So if you have a big pocket of your wading jacket, so it's no problem. Otherwise, I think that it's even better to have two fly cases with five pockets each. So let's take a look inside. So here, as you can see, as I call it as a library, I have different kind of tube flies which you can sort out by your own system. You can have sinking ones, heavy ones, you can have small ones. Here I have pig pot bellies. Uh, also I have some sun rays and, uh, and uh, different kind of flies. So, you know, depends on the fly on the water level, uh, uh, water uh, temperature, and different kind of uh, aspects, you can uh, choose the fly you need. And it's really, really kind of uh, good to have and nice to have this kind of wallet in your uh, wading jacket or even in your backpack, so you know you are sure that you can cover the day or you can cover the fishing trip when you're flying away and you don't know what to expect so uh, i think this is the crucial to have and it's very comfortable because you can see all the different flies you know and uh, and as i said it's it it can uh, carry a lot of flies in, in this kind of fly wallet uh, so let's put this one aside. Uh, the next one I have here is the large size tube fly wallet with pins. So this fly wallet I would say is very useful to have in your wader, uh, pocket of your waders or your wading jacket. Uh, let's say when you come to a fishing spot you come for a trip and you know what the level is so you can really how to say set make a set of the flies that you think you will need to spend the day by the river and it's so nice because you can uh, when you open it you can really see all the flies inside it so you know you don't need the flies are not hiding behind each other 
so you really can see if you have hitch flies, small tube flies, and even here on the pin you can have the two small tube flies on one pin. So if you fish small flies only, you can have it here like 70 flies because this large size fly wallet contains 35 pins in it. So I think that it's really, really nice fly wallet, you know, when you just sit on the rock, take a break and you just open it, you know, and you can choose the next fly you are believe in. Also, I have two more fly wallets. Uh, one of them is uh, the large size hook fly wallet. So basically I use this fly wallet for small hook flies, you know. If you fish in low water, late season, or let's say countries like Iceland with very cl clear water, you may need to have very small 8 to 12 size hook flies, you know, very lightly dressed. So we have also low water here and quite clear water, so this fly wallet for me is like the basic one what uh, I have the hook flies inside it. So this fly wallet is the large size 12 by 20 centimeters closed. So it perfectly fits in the biggest uh, pocket of a wading jacket. Uh, also it has a hardened sides so it protects the flies from being squeezed and you can see all the, the wing is not flattened down and it's really nice fly wallet again you open it you have all the flies you can see with you so i just put it in my wading jacket and another one which is the smallest size i call it compact size fly wallet i have it in uh, for tubes and for hook flies so this one, you know, it's kind of a special, how to say it, has special, uh, f uh, special role, I would say. For example, if you are know the stretch very well and you don't need to carry a bunch of flies, so you can have a small compact size fly wallet, which is, is only 9 by 14, which will fit any pocket of your apparel and here for example i have a, a special set of mostly uh, pig pot bellies some francis and small very small tube flies so let's say if i fish uh, in some certain conditions as we have now uh, low and clear water i might have this this uh, fly wallet useful for me and uh, as you can see when you open it you see all the different patterns and uh, everything on one one view you know and you can pick the one you want to choose next so also i make uh, medium sized fly wallets which are the most popular but as i said i'm the one who, I'm tying flies myself, so I'm the one who wants to carry a lot of flies. So I either take the large size or either I have a compact size for special uh, particular kind of fly patterns to hold in. So, oh, so this is it. Uh, I think I will go for a lunch now and uh, let's continue. We have like... Uh, five hours of fishing left tonight to, to, uh, this afternoon so let's take a fast break and let's continue tight lines now i have placed this brown pig belly pot fly with polar beer some ginger brown color we have sun now so maybe it will work hopefully it's 
hides itself in this clear but a bit clear water with some dark bottom like brownish and we have a lot of grass and uh, leaves are going down the river in the water so Nice to have these clouds and some sun, so the light changes a lot, and uh, maybe it will help. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yes, fish on. Nice, now easy. Let's see, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. Now, easy, let it get tired, it's a big fish. It wants to go to the rocks, there are big rocks. Nice salmon. Maybe not the biggest one as it seemed at the beginning, but it's definitely a salmon. I just keep it in, in uh, deep water so it can stay calm and get tired. Yeah, I think it's a male around 80 centimeters. So nice to fight a salmon after I think it's wrapped or something. I will have a net. With me, so. We'll try. We'll try to put him in the net. Yes! Oh yeah! First salmon! So nice! Whew. So nice salmon! Nice male! I will measure it with uh, the rod because I don't want to uh, to use too much time with him because I needed to release him so nice to have this net so I can really really take care of the fish while filming it's a beautiful salmon oh my god Let me, I'll show you this guy. Just want to keep it in a fresh air, water, so it's not getting that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the salmon. Nice meal. Beautiful one. Okay, I put it back. Oh yeah. Crazy fishing. I saw it like five times. So he was really active. I changed three flies. And it was like very typical slow salmon take. Yeah, amazing feeling. Amazing feeling. Okay, so I just need now to release him. Uh, film, take some pictures. And this net, it's amazing thing, you know. Now fish is in the water while, while I'm talking. And uh, I don't have to put it on the grass or whatever, you know, to take a, a hook off. Yes, he's strong again. Perfect. Oh my God, he's going bananas now. Cold water. Yes, what a beautiful fish. Amazing. I could watch at it all over again. Uh, and let's continue later on on this pool. I believe there should be more fish. They definitely are not the lonely li riders. Oh my God. It's amazing feeling. Once again, I cannot be so happy as I am now. So much more happy as I am now. Crazy. Oh, my hands are shaking. My legs are shaking. Uh, let me show you from the, him from the closer look. Oh yeah. Beautiful male. Beautiful one. <laughs> 